everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Deepa Does It. My name is Deepa Prashad, and on every single episode of the show, I will be, well, doing things. Yeah. Thumbs up. But seriously, in every episode, I'm going to do my absolute best to recreate a professional chef signature dish. And let me tell you, the recreating part hasn't been going so well. On today's episode, we are joined by award-winning chef Nui Regular, and she is known for her northern Thai cuisine. So today, she's going to be teaching us how to make fried fish tacos with a mango slaw. Now, I'm going to watch her do it, then I'm going to try to do it on my own, and then she'll be back to judge me on three different categories, and they are taste, presentation, and heart. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode and leave some tasty tips in the comments below for me. Okay, we are finally joined by the one and only Chef Nui. How are you? I'm good. Sawadee Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me here today. Yeah, now I, I like enjoy your food so much. So when I heard that you were able to come and teach us how to make something, I was so excited. So I know we're making fish tacos and a mango slaw. So can you tell me a little bit more about why that's one of your favorite dishes? The fish taco is my favorite dish because I feel like, you know, the crispy of the fish oh. and the mango slaw, it go together so well for the summer food. And uh, I have so much great memory of uh, Thailand, Thai cuisine. We have a mango salad, we have crispy fish, mm. and to put them together in a taco, nice and easy to eat, it's so fun to, to create this dish. Are you ready for this? Yes. All right, let's do it. We have the basa filet here. So it come like this. Now when you have basa filet, I like to pat dry them. Mm. Is this like one of the best types of fish to use for taco? Well, to me, it's very uh, soft and it's just butter melt in your mouth up when you bite to them. So this is very secret of my uh, fish taco. You just gave everybody your secret. <laughs> <laughs> so the fish is um, go like this, but I'm gonna cut slightly slant them using a scissor here. And also, interesting, you use scissors instead of a knife. Why? Well, is that? because the scissor is very easy, and and you know, like you don't require um, a cutting board or anything. Just use scissor and cut it, and it just work. True. Okay, so secret about me is my cutting skills are really bad. So when I saw scissors, I was like, yes! And it's your color. Look at the what? I didn't even plan this. All right, All sorry, right. <laughs> So the next, we're gonna just skewer the fish in the middle. Just t turn, turn, turn them so it's easy to go in. So the reason for this, because the fish is very soft. When you deep fry them, they like to curl up. So we want it to be straight, so I use this skewer to help. So we do two of them. Oh, that's an interesting tip. This one I'm going to use about one teaspoon. Let's say about that. Mm. And what is that? This one is an oyster sauce. Very simple. To We just wrap them around, give them a wrap so then they have um, proper season and then the next thing is just put the tempura uh, flour in here so the tempura flour it has a wheat flour cornstarch and uh, um, the baking soda so we just gonna put them in also and this then... smells so good already <laughs> thank oh you oh, I can't wait yeah. to eat this Let use this some of this sprinkle them to see now it's slowly rise up. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna just slightly to drop this fish in there. Ooh, the sizzle! Oh my lord! So this is about um, two to three minutes. The next one, let's make a mango slaw. Yay! And mango slaw. Uh, here we go. So to make mango slaw, I just have the mango. Are you using a specific type of mango or can you use any type for this? Well, I like to use a little bit uh, sweet and sour mango. Okay. And uh, the red mango is perfectly for this slaw. And this uh, red bell pepper, I just uh, julian cut them. And uh, red cabbage. This one, we're going to mix it with the 
tamarind salad dressing. Okay. Is this like a special mix or is this just like straight up tamarind sauce? This is a special mix <gasps> at Pai restaurant. We have a reduction of the coconut sugar, tamarind, a little bit of fish sauce. Oh, nice. The next one, I'll prepare the lettuce. Okay. So is the lettuce. Is like iceberg lettuce? Yes, okay. I use the hard iceberg lettuce, the bottom one because it's a little bit crunchy mm -hmm. and one piece of uh, lamb here, so mm -hmm. squeeze the juice in. Nice. Lamb juice is a little bit mixed in there, so now here we very simple and easy, less okay. than just like 30 seconds. Oh, that's it? That's yes. it? That's yes, yes, <gasps> that's it. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me a recipe that has like five steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to turn on the, uh, the pan. Okay. Ooh, another pan. Yes. To make sure it's uh, hot, so then we're gonna do our... to just warm up these tacos. Okay, so just warming. Yes. Just warming. Very, okay. very... I like it. Simple. Now I'm just gonna... simple. Warm them up. Okay. Here mm. we go. I'm ready for these two, okay. and now... we're going to assemble <gasps> them. Assembly time! Yes. yes. Okay, I'm excited. Yes. yes. The first is like lay down this lettuce. Mm -hmm. okay, so, so that was just the lettuce and the lime. Very simple. Yes, very simple. You'll be surprised that you can make um, my version of the fish taco at home. Yeah. You know, it seems like it seems like the steps are easy to follow. Hopefully. Yes. I don't jinx myself, but um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just gonna put this fish in. So to take it out. The skewer just turn around like this, so leave it out. Oh. So even it take out easily, so which means the fish is really fully cooked as well. Okay, that's yes. a good tip. Next, our beautiful oh, tamarind dressing, slaw, the mango one. Ooh. It's going to be so crunchy when you eat it. Nice. Sweet, salty, tangy, refreshing. All in one. Okay, taste test time. Let's each grab one of these delicious You like spicy tacos. or you like... I like some spice. Okay, take like that one. Heat. Okay, that one's for you. Yes, I will squeeze a little bit of lab in it. Oh, okay, let's do that. Yes. Some lime for some Ooh. freshness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get that. Sprinkle in there. Nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, ready? Let's do this. Mmm. 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 I just want to dance. <laughs> yeah, this is so good. Mm. You get the sweetness, you get the tanginess, yeah. you get the crunch. Oh my lord. Wow. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Okay, so I'm going to get started on my turn and I'm going to do things a little bit out of order. I'm actually going to cut my vegetables first because I'm afraid my fish is going to get cold because I'm going to take forever to get through all this stuff. So uh, my cutting skills or hacking skills, because if you've ever seen me chop a vegetable, it's more of a hacking skill. They're not the greatest. So, um, you know, I'm just going to do my best. Um, so I know she said just very, very, oh, that's not thin, but you know, as <laughs> as thin as I could get. <laughs> okay, let's cut one. Because this is going into my slaw. <laughs> this is not gonna look anything like chefs, I already can tell. Mango time! So, I know I need a peeler for this. I need to use about half of this mango for the recipe. Okay, so the mango is done peeling, but just to protect my hands, because I'm not as, uh, you know, a lovely chopper like chef, I'm actually gonna put some gloves on, and lucky for me, kabam! Gloves are in the drawer, so these are going on, and then I'm gonna continue the rest. So chef said to cut with a curve, so I'm gonna do that as best as I can. And I know Chef Nui was saying that when it gets a little bit tougher to cut, which it is now, it means it's too close to the seed, so I think that's enough. So, Very good student. I will say, I'm not the best at getting this the exact same size, but my theory is you're gonna eat it anyway. So next up is the cabbage. So just holding the cabbage and just running it down the side to get some nice thin pieces. So we got that. And the next thing is the lettuce. Again, very easy for this. Just some chops straight down the middle. This one, I know she said, doesn't have to be like too thin because you want some nice crunch in there. Now, chili. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use the bottom half of this because I do enjoy some spice. 
And this to me was like, when I had it, it's like a medium level spice, so it's not like too crazy hot. So I'm just gonna get a couple of those ready to go. This is going to the camera, guys. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> so this is all done. All of my veggies are ready and cut. Good to go. So the next step I'm gonna get started on is the fish. So all of my cutting and prepping is done. So gloves are off! which means it's time to get serious because they're gonna fry this fish. Uh, a tip that Chef Nui gave me for checking how you know ready the oil is, just taking some panko crumbs here and tossing it into the oil. And if it floats, that means it's ready. So, okay, yes. You see what happened there was the panko crumbs, sprinkle them, they like sunk and then plopped right back up, which means it is ready. Okay, yes. That sounds good. Piece two. Piece three. Piece four. That's got about two to three minutes, which it has been, to fully cook. So I'm just gonna grab, oh yes, look at that. Plop it over here just so that the excess oil gets absorbed. <gasps> Take a look. I think it looks really good. It smells really good too, which I think is a good sign. Fish. Just off to the side for a few minutes. Now it is time for the slaw, the mango slaw. All right, bowl one. We are gonna put my lovely <laughs> chunky mango right in here. Then bell pepper for crunch. The cabbage here. And what she put in here to give it a really nice flavor is this delicious plum tamarind sauce that she actually makes in house too. So I'm gonna put just few, maybe like two, maybe like all. <laughs> so all I need left is a tortillas that I'm gonna heat up really quickly and then I'll be back here to assemble everything. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna fold it. First thing is lettuce. I'm gonna be fancy and use tongs because I like using these. After the lettuce comes the fish. Twisty, and I think she said when it comes out that easily, it means it's cooked. <sighs> now it is time for some slaw. It's a nice, we got some more of the plum tamarind sauce. I really enjoyed this. So I'm gonna go to town with this. Got really good flavor. Then after this is the sriracha sour cream. <laughs> Gotta get artistic. Cilantro on the top for garnish. <laughs> I think this is gonna save me at the presentation points because it's hiding everything, like the mess that lives beneath it. And then, chilies. And I like them hot. Ooh. A lot of chili. <laughs> it's gonna be spicy. Look! <gasps> Deep as fish tacos. I think it looks. Okay, do I want to eat it? Yeah, because uh, it smells good. Would I want to eat it based on looks? Mm, questionable. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get Chef back in here so she can judge me on taste, presentation, and heart. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it is time to welcome back Chef Nui. Please come on over. Ah, take a look. Wow. Okay, first impression. Wow. Please. Look at this. Very impressive. Oh, really? With the chili. Oh. oh. I know that had to be a catch because I was like, it doesn't look that impressive. Well, the red color is pop up and I just thinking about, I have my scarf that to wipe my sweat. <laughs> that gonna hide well. Yes, very good. Well, I falling in love at the first look. Okay. It's just thing. like the color of the fish is perfect. You managed to make the fish long enough with the, the taco itself. Yeah. This is like something that I have to think about it too because mine may be a little bit shorter. <gasps> oh. But to cut different way, that might be a better idea. Oh, Thank what? you. What? Did I teach a chef something today? Oh, I'll be learning from each other. Oh my goodness. What we're going to do now is we're going to taste test together. Okay. And then after we take our first bite, you're going to rate me in three categories, okay? And it's presentation, mm. taste, and heart. 
Okay. Mm. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? Okay. Yes, I'm very ready. Let's do so it. So, let's gonna count which one is the less chili. Hey, no, 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 no. You gotta go full. Are you gonna? No, I'm gonna give it to you because you I like spicy. I'm gonna have some of this in there. Oh, right, lime. I forgot yes. that. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good point. Give it more, more flavor. Refreshing acid in there. Nice. Perfect. Ready? All right. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one, go. Mmm. 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 My cook. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, break a little bit to see if it's size fully cooked. Oh no, I was hoping you wouldn't do that. Well, it looked very healthy. So you passed? I passed! One yes! check! Yes! yes! Okay, I cooked the fish. That was what I was very And now this about. is the spicy part that I'm going to eat. Brave. But just, um, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think we even need to rate this. <laughs> it tastes like I made it myself. Oh! Mm -hmm. What? What? I've literally never heard that. <laughs> so, would you serve this at one of your restaurants? I would serve at one of my restaurants. However, so. <laughs> however, yes. the red cabbage, I'm going to cut a little bit thinner. Okay. Because I have a too much shang in my mouth. Fair. You know? To me, it's all about balance. Mm -hmm. So if you have a nice balance, then you don't feel like too much of this, too much of that. And yeah. there's no anything for them to shake to say, okay, this is not right, this is not right. So just a little bit of that. Okay. Aside from that, the fish actually tastes just right. Not over salty, not less salt, just just perfect. <gasps> okay, I'm really happy. I'm very, I'm very ver nervous. I'm very happy to see this and you know, if you can do this, I'm sure everyone at home yes. can do it as well. Yeah, if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Moral today. All right, well, one so. more bite. Oh, mm. oh mm. today's my lucky day. Mm. All right, you got to give me my scores now. So, taste, presentation, heart. Taste, I would give a 5 out of 5. And uh, presentations, it's, the color is there. When you look closely, some bigger than some, so they have like um, friends that um, <laughs> want to unite but try so hard. So <laughs> I would just drop that. So I'm going to give you four out of five <gasps> for the presentation. Okay, that's fair. And heart. What do I get for heart? Heart? Well, this cannot be less than five. Yay! So I give five out of five. So total you have fourteen out of fifteen. Yes, <gasps> I'm, I'm so very happy. proud of you. Thank hug, you hug, so hug. much. You know, air hugs. Mm. I yes. am so proud of myself right now. I'm like my tacos dripping all over, but I don't care. I'm gonna eat it later. So technically, I did the dish this time. Every time I said that after all the other episodes, I was like, I kind of did the dish, but I definitely did the dish this time. So uh. Ah, make sure to subscribe, make sure that you never miss an episode, and have fun eating with me, or watching me eat, like this. Okay, bye! <laughs>